concrete, we're now going to work on the one that looks like it's going to be the hardest. That's the glasses. It's really not the hardest. Uh, it's, I mean, it's difficult, but if you just focus on what needs to be done, you can get it done. Shouldn't be any problem at all. There's a couple tools that you probably haven't used yet, or if you have, you've forgotten about it. Uh, we are going to start with the two circles here. Those two circles are gonna be 0.6, so that they're bigger than the uh, eyes on the front face. The, it'll fit right on top of the eyes on the front face. So it'll be 0.6 instead of 0.5. There's this gap in the middle connecting the two circles and it has a top radius of 0.5 and a bottom radius of 0.5 and that gap in between is going to be 0 0.075 it also has a fillet of 0.1 to make the curved side on the top so here we go start with my circ sketch on the front view start with my circle on the apex a circle is going to be 0.6. I'm going to come over here and this time I do want to line it up on a yellow line. Uh, that yellowish orange line, I'm going to make sure that I'm on it as opposed to off. And that way it sets it up and it's horizontal to it. You can see the little horizontal tool down there. 0.6. Now I need to dimension the distance between them between the two centers is going to be 1.25. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because now I'm going to start doing my arcs and I'm going to touch right on the line here. I'm going to start it right on the line because if we look at the instructions, that little corner is right on that center line, which is the apex line, the X axis. So come back here. And I'm going to click right there. I'm going to come over and click on the other circle right there. Bring it up. It doesn't matter what dimension. I could be all the way up here. I could be down here. It doesn't matter what it is because I'm going to type in 0.5. I'm going to come down here a distance. It doesn't matter how far down I come, but I'm going to make sure I'm touching the circle. I'm making a second arc and I'm going to touch the circle on the other side. I'm going to bring it up again. It doesn't matter what my, ain't my uh, radius is here because I'm going to go ahead and click and type 0.5 and that will force it into place. <clears throat> I'm going to dimension the distance between those two circles. So this is the center point on both of those circles are down here at the bottom click it down and this is going to be 0 0.075 and you'll notice it gets off the little it's little on this side and it's big on this side so to fix that we're going to go to horizontal I'm going to click on the left side dot I'm going to come over and click on the right side dot and when I do that it forces them to be lined up and forces these guys to be lined up so there we are Last thing I need to do uh, is going to be, I'm going to turn this off so y'all can see. If I decide I'm going to have to uh, offset. If I offset, it requires that I can offset this guy. But when I go to grab the next piece, it tells me offset can only be a single chain at once. So I can't offset. I have to trim first. So I'm going to come down here and trim, which cuts pieces away. And I want to trim this little piece in between on both sides. Now I can go to the offset and I can choose the circle and the top part and the other circle and the bottom part. And that makes that piece go all the way around. So it basically takes that picture that we drew and it makes a duplicate of it bigger. Its default is 0.25, so when I hit enter, I can just hit enter again because the default is 0.25. And that's what we want. The dimensions between the two is going to be 0.25 according to our instructions. Offset between the two sides is 
green check mark. I'm going to extrude. I want to extrude the outside piece, not the inside piece. No, not just the inside piece. We want the outside piece. If I change it to isometric so we can see what it looks like, that's too big. Those glasses are really fat, so we need to be 0.25. Green check mark. Go back to the front view so I can kind of see what we're doing. Zoom in. Now I'm going to fill it. And when I fill it, actually I am going to leave it at isometric. When I fill it, the fillet's going to do some weird stuff. So I'm going to start on the outside here. Oh, that doesn't work because it's in red. I need to change this to 0.1 because that's what the instructions say. It's still red. If I click it off, I can come over and choose another piece. That one does work. But when I come back and choose the first one, it goes back to being red. Let's go ahead and finish it out because Onshape is trying to think its way through it. The math that goes with all this. It's still red, but I've forgotten one more piece. Let me get this last piece. And when that last piece happens, it goes ahead and finishes it all out. It realizes it's all one piece and it can figure out the math on it. Green check mark. And there you go. There it is. I got to change my color. I'm going to change it to, uh, let's say, oh, you know what? I'm going to play with the colors this time. I want to add some more red and I'm going to say 150, no, 200. Oh, that's looking kind of, kind of cool, kind of hot pink. So you can change these colors down here and it will make new colors for you as you go along. If I wanted to repeat it, I could just add that custom color and it would be in there. Green check mark, close that. Take a picture of it, turn it in.